I can hardly believe my eyes when I step into the den. In the middle of the room is a large rectangular table. Several balls roll across its surface and perched on one corner, looking down at the floor, is her. Giselle. Giselle! The question of why she's here never crosses my mind. All I feel is elation to see her once more. There's no room for anything else in my head. I run over to her, put my hand on her shoulder. Thank goodness you're alright. And turn her toward me. Uh, Giselle? Giselle! I shake her, causing her head to droop lifelessly. There's not a trace of light in her unmoving eyes. Why? Giselle, why? <sighs> say... Say something, Giselle. Say anything, please. This... This can't be. Y you... You can't be. You can't be. My mind goes blank. I can't catch my breath. The world is hazy. Why? Why is Giselle... Why did... I have to find her... Like this? Why? I swore I would do anything. I swore I would never lose you again. Talk to me, Giselle. Say something, please. I want to see your smile once more. Giselle... Giselle! 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 It happens in an instant. Too quickly for me to make any sense of it. By the time I recognize the smell of gunpowder, everything's already fading to black. No, I'm looking at the floor. I don't have the strength to lift my head. And I don't have time to wonder what happened to me, or why I can't stand, before the last thread of my consciousness snaps. Michelle? My goodness. This room's master certainly knows how to make a mess. For someone who can barely shape a soul into something resembling a human, he has no respect for others. Such an appalling man. Oh, I feel so awful for you, my darling devoted Giselle. To have to witness the, beloved of your, the death of your beloved not once, but twice. How, how did this happen? Michel, say something, please. You came to find me, didn't you? So get up, please. You're wasting your breath, my dear. His fate has been sealed. Only eradication awaits him. And I don't have to tell you why, do I? It's not just his body that was destroyed. He will never come back to you. For all eternity. Why? Why did this have to happen to him? Don't direct your anger at me, my dear. I'm not the one who did this. Well, I did tear you apart. I did not kill him. His death was not my intention. Look at this, Giselle, and tell me. You don't feel hatred. Tell me you don't want to curse the one responsible. You do, don't you? You want to join me in cursing the man who did this to your beloved, and everyone connected to him. Or will you let him get away with it? I would never... I would never let him get away with this. I didn't think so. He will pay. All the torment in the world isn't enough. He must pay. Yes, that's the spirit, my darling Giselle. I am here for you. To inflict as much suffering on them as you desire, in whatever fashion you wish. Eternal suffering on all their souls. 
I know. I know, Michelle, that this won't accomplish anything. But I'm... I'm not strong enough to choose another path. Not now that I remember everything. All the time I waited for you. All the love I felt for you. My life is Giselle. This is too much for me to bear. Without the protection of my cocoon, I can't cope with it any other way. Then turning to hatred. How am I supposed to keep myself sane? Having lost you twice now. I just don't know. So that's the Jacopo kill ending.